Hi guys, it's Iris. Welcome back to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today, so let's just go ahead and jump in to it. This ended up being a kid haul. And I don't know if I meant for it to be or not. I didn't really, okay. I went into Dollar Tree for one thing and I knew I was going to come out with, with more than one thing because when have I ever gone into Dollar Tree and only gotten the one thing that I went in for? Um, and the one thing that I went in for was all my trash bags, my uh, Good Sense Handles trash bags because these are the best things ever. The last time I bought trash bags at Dollar Tree, because um, that's where I buy my trash bags now apparently, uh, the last time I bought trash bags a couple of weeks ago, I hauled a different brand of trash bags because there were 18 bags in that box as opposed to this one that only has 10 and I mean it had, they're the same size I read all the stuff on there they were the same size so okay maybe maybe these will be okay they suck they suck and don't worry I'm about to do uh, I'm gathering up some things that I have purchased from Dollar Tree that I do not like so I'm going to very soon be doing uh, one of those things not to buy at Dollar Tree videos and those trash bags are going to be on because they are terrible They rip so easily. They don't fit on my trash can at all. I don't know what trash can they would fit on maybe a round one But like most people don't have round trash cans, so I don't know They just they I don't like them. They suck. I don't like them uh, so this is what I went in for but I Knew that I was going to go down the Halloween aisle um because I remember I was in Dollar Tree, I don't know, last week or so, and I actually didn't buy anything. Wait a minute. Did that really happen? I think it did. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> so apparently I went to Dollar Tree and didn't buy anything very recently. Uh, but I remember seeing down like the, uh, the Halloween aisle they uh you know what i did go in and didn't buy anything because i went in looking for fingernails and i couldn't find any that i liked okay so anyway um i remember that trip seeing uh like pirate dress up stuff for kids and my son is obsessed obsessed with pirates right now it's like his favorite thing in the world so i decided he was going to be a, a pirate for halloween of course right and then I saw the pirate stuff at Dollar Tree and I said, you know, maybe I could get away with getting him a really inexpensive costume this year. But then I was thinking about it and I'm like, I don't really know if I want to do that because, I mean, the stuff looks pretty cheap. So anyway, I got him pretty much everything they had pirate related in Dollar Tree today. Um, he may wear it for a costume. He may just use it for dress up. Either way, I think it's cute. So let me show you. So... Okay, I'll show you the, the item that I didn't know about first. There's this pirate vest here. Okay, so let's see. What is this made of? I don't even know if it's going to say what kind of fabric this is. But you can tell it's very cheap fabric. It's almost paper-like. Um, but I mean, it's a pirate vest. It's going to be way too big for him first of all. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, just for dress up, I think it's okay. I probably won't put this on him for Halloween, but it's cute for dress up. I think he'll have fun with it. And then uh, I got him a hook. I got him a pirate hook hand um, because, I mean, you kind of have to have a pirate hook hand, right? And I like it. I mean, I, I would probably even use it just for myself. Maybe I'll be Captain Hook. And he can be Mr. Smee. No, I don't know. <laughs> but I thought it was cute. It's got like a little skull and crossbones on it everywhere. And you could probably... I'm sure you could zhuzh this up. Zhuzh this up a little bit. And maybe do some... Uh, add some more embellishments to it if you want to. And I may actually do that. I may embellish this a little bit more so that uh it's a little bit a little bit fancier 
but I mean it's not bad quality it's this is about the same quality as you would get at like Party City or somewhere like that I think and this was only a dollar if you got this at Party City it would probably be about five dollars so save you some money go to Dollar Tree see if they got your accessories for your costume uh, then I got him the pirate hat they had the uh, I'm gonna put it on my oh it fits on my head very well that means it is going to fit on his head perfectly I apparently have a small head and he has a very large head because he can go my baseball caps he will steal my baseball caps from me and they fit on his head perfectly so that child has a big head anyway they had the uh, pirate scarves like the head wraps too um and I didn't get it for him because honestly I already have a um, I have a scarf that has skull and crossbones on it and if I really wanted to I could just tie that scarf on his head and then put the hat on with it that is actually what I'm planning on doing uh, so I think that would be cool I like this pirate hat I may wear this the rest of the video I think I'm going to I'm gonna be crazy today because that's the kind of mood I'm in let me see what else I have in here oh they have um, a pirate accessory kit in here as well. Uh, in here, there is an eye patch, an earring, a dagger, and a necklace. So, a five piece pirate accessory kit for a dollar. I mean, come on, right? I'm telling you guys, Dollar Tree is stepping up their game. I remember not really very too long ago when you know Dollar Tree was not somewhere you told people you went and you know you really couldn't find really awesome stuff I mean you could get stuff to like save money here and there but man they are seriously up in their game I have not seen like accessories like this in Dollar Tree ever they're stepping up their game you guys I'm just telling you um, <laughs> And this is not really exactly pirate related, but kind of. I got him some fake mustaches as well. Um, I mean, I think they work for pirates because pirates have mustaches. Uh, but I got him some, some fake mustaches too. Okay, I'm going to take the hat off now because it's falling off of my head. Slipping and sliding all over the place. I will probably definitely have to put uh, that scarf on his head to keep that from falling off of it. So that is all of that. Now let's get into mommy's stuff. So of course I went down the makeup aisle. There are still some things that I'm looking for. I need some fishnet stockings not to wear. I need them for um, a Halloween makeup tutorial that I'm going to be doing very soon. I'm doing a whole series of Halloween makeup this year. I don't know if I've said that yet. I feel like I have, but who knows? I have filmed like three or four of those videos already and I feel like I have talked about it but I don't really know if I have anyway I am looking for some fishnet stockings I thought maybe I could find them in Dollar Tree maybe something similar even like a hairnet or something but didn't find anything I don't want to spend a lot of money on it because I'm not going to use it for its intended purpose and they're probably going to get cut up but anyway didn't find that but I did find um in case you've been watching other people's Dollar Tree hauls, Elf is back at Dollar Tree. Uh, and I found, pardon me, I'm drinking a Coke. So let me tell you really quickly, this is the Coke did not come from Dollar Tree. It came from the gas station. Let me tell you the series of events from this morning real quick before we transition into the stuff that I purchased. Uh, so looked at my phone this morning to see what the weather was going to be like said it's 68 degrees my thought immediately goes to yes that sounds fantastic it is leggings and coffee for me this morning absolutely I got dressed I put on my leggings I put on my brand new leggings that are so freaking awesome and like hold on let me see if I can show you I'm not gonna be able to show you these leggings but they're really cute maybe 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 hold on let's see if I can show these to you I don't know if you can even see them. Can you even see them? Aren't they cute? They're super cute. And you guys, I got them from... I don't even know if you just heard me. I hope it doesn't fall over now. 
I have no idea how long it takes me to set the phone up in a way that it won't fall over when I'm in this vehicle. Anyway, um, I got these from the $10 boutique that I go to here all the freaking time. They are so soft. I'm telling you, these are like LuLaRoe soft. And LuLaRoe leggings are way too freaking expensive for me to purchase. Uh, <laughs> these are like LuLaRoe type soft leggings. They're so comfy. But anyway, I put on my leggings and my boots and I was about to get in the car and go and get me some coffee and I opened the front door and I poked my head back inside and I told my husband it is not 68 degrees out here. I do not know what is going on with my weather app on my phone but it is not 68 degrees out here. I'm looking at the uh, temperature gauge in the car right now and it's 77 outside which is still not bad but I'm thinking I'm about to put on some leggings and go drink some coffee and it is not quite cold enough for me to be drinking coffee. I was sweating by the time I got to the car. Like, not drinking coffee like that. So, decided I was going to go to the gas station and get me one of those really big, giant fountain drinks. They were out of cups. How, how do you run out of cups? Really? I know how you run out of cups. Somebody didn't do inventory and didn't order them. Anyway, I ended up getting a soda instead because I need some caffeine. Was that entertaining to you at all? Did you enjoy my story? Because now that all of those words have come out of my mouth, I realized that that was really dumb. Why did I just tell you guys about all that? I have no idea. But you got to see my cute leggings. So, <laughs> okay. So what did I get for myself today? Like I said, Elf is back in Dollar Tree. They Elf was being sold in Dollar Tree for quite a while, actually. Um, and then I, I noticed that it just it wasn't there anymore. And I feel like it's probably been about, I don't know, like a year and a half since I've seen um, any e.l.f. makeup products at Dollar Tree. But anyway, I found um, the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder from e.l.f. This is in the shade Fair. Uh, I have some of this powder already that I got at Target in the very lightest shade that they, at the, that they had, that did not want to come out of my mouth. I got the very lightest shade that was available at Target, uh, and it's too dark. Like, it's fine for, like, the summer months when I'm getting a lot of color on my face from the sun, um, but it's too dark for, like, the rest of the year. Which, most of the year, I am really, really, really fair. Uh, but yeah, I found the color in Fair. It looks like it's much lighter. I don't know. I'm going to be mad if I get home and it's the same exact color. But it looks like it's much lighter. Also, I got two of these matte lip colors. Now, you guys, I think one of these might be going into my 100 subscriber giveaway, which you guys, you have got to help me with this. I need five more subscribers, you guys. Five more subscribers. And I will have 100 subscribers and then I can finally do a giveaway. I'm not doing a giveaway until I get to 100 subscribers. And you guys, I am, I've been collecting stuff to put in this giveaway. It's going to be a good one. Uh, but one of these e.l.f. matte lip colors is going to go in that giveaway. Um, but I got the rich red and the dark red. I think the dark red is probably going to go in the, uh, in the giveaway because I feel like the rich red is more my speed. So, got some lip color. Like I said, one of them is going in the giveaway once I get five more subscribers. So, share my videos, tell my people, tell my people, tell your people to check me out and hit that subscribe button. Um, okay, you know I can't go in Dollar Tree and go down the makeup aisle without looking at their nails. And you know, I always buy two packs because you can't really do both hands with one pack of the Sassy and Chic nails. But you guys, I mean, when I say Dollar Tree is really up in their game, I am not kidding. I feel like they are constantly coming out with new designs for these nails. And they sell through them so quickly, you guys. But these, see how well you can see them. They're gray, and then they've got like a little pink flower 
type uh, design on them. I thought these would be really cute for fall. I like gray nails. Um, I like gray nails especially in the fall. I feel like it's really good and you guys I was doing so good I had actually grown them out a good bit um, and then last night I was sitting on the couch watching Walking Dead with my husband uh, because they finally put the latest season on Netflix and he is binge watching it uh, and I watched like I don't know three or four episodes with him last night and ended up chewing all of my fingernails off so gonna have to put some falsies on uh, so got those that actually you guys is all I got I am the most excited about that pirate stuff that I got for my son that is what I'm most excited about I cannot wait to get home and show him what I got for him I think he's gonna be so excited about it okay so that is what I got today I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a like give it a thumbs up oh wait I was gonna tell you guys they are already getting their Christmas stuff in they are so ahead of the freaking game can I just tell you and they had a lot well not a lot they had a few cute things um, for Christmas as, our, as far as like DIY type stuff uh, that I wanted to get I had a pack of um, like the stick on decals like the ones I bought last year but they had some blue ones this year some blue snowflakes I had a pack of those in my shopping cart and I took them out because I said you know what let me get through this season first let me just get through this first I did also go down the uh, like the craft aisle and like the home decor type stuff they had a lot of really cute home decor right now you guys I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but they are up in their game here at Dollar Tree, you guys. Like, if you need some, some really inexpensive home decor, like, you know, wall hangings and stuff like that, check out Dollar Tree. They've got some really good stuff in there. You have to find it as soon as they put it out because the good stuff, they go through it just like that. Uh, but they had some really nice stuff in there. But I'm transitioning into... Uh, doing my fall decor so the regular home decor items just weren't I couldn't justify buying them if what I am about to start doing is fall decor uh, I didn't really find a lot of fall decor that I liked though they did have some fall floral that I really liked uh, and I will probably go back next week and do uh, a fall Dollar Tree haul for like decor and floral and that type of stuff DIY stuff uh, so be looking for that because I'm I'm fairly positive I'm gonna do that next week uh, that is my plan right now so anyway if you liked the video give it a thumbs up uh, if you have not already hit the subscribe button down below while you're at it hit the bell next to it that's gonna give you notifications on when I post new videos and you guys if you have not subscribed yet you want to subscribe like I said five more subscribers and I'm doing a giveaway you don't want to miss it it's gonna be a good one uh, also, if you are not following me on Instagram, follow me there as well, BiloxiBeauty82. Did I say Biloxi Booty? <laughs> Biloxi Beauty 82 the same way that it is spelled here. It's because I talk so fast. That's what the problem is. I talk so fast <laughs> that I don't enunciate my words. I remember when I started theater in junior college, anytime I got up to do a scene, or um, a monologue my notes were always <laughs> I will never forget um, my theater um, instructor her notes to me were always slow down and enunciate every single scene I got up to do she always said slow down and enunciate <laughs> every single time and I still do it I can't <laughs> I notice when I do it now, when I need to slow down, I notice it because I can hear it now because I'm so, at this point, I am so hypersensitive to it that I can hear it and I have to, wait a minute, stop, slow it down, say it again, kind of like Gene Wilder, strike that, reverse it <laughs> from uh, Willy Wonka. Anyway, got off on a tangent there. Um, also, Facebook. But Lexi Beauty 82 also the same way that it is spelled here. I am posting there quite often. Uh, 
almost daily at this point you guys I have I've been posting on that page quite a bit here lately so check out all of my social media I hope you enjoyed the video I gotta go get my uh, son and my husband because we got to go pick up the oldest child from school and then we are going to have a family outing so I need to get back on the road and get home so I will see you guys next time bye